What's up, guys? How's it going? It's your boy, Big Cheese. Um, no, that's, that's stupid. What's up, guys? How's it going? Big Cheese here. Welcome along to another video. Nah, I don't like that either. Fuck. Hey, guys. How's it going? So, uh, welcome to episode two of the Trying to Become a YouTuber vlog. Episode one did really well. I think we just hit 145 views, something like that. So, I was pretty happy with that. Um, really nice to have, like some like people tune in and watch the content that's just you and you being yourself and things like that like you know like i've made videos that have got over four thousand views over two thousand views things like this and it's all like you know you bunker in the war zone or check out these armors and you know it's all clickbaity but it's really nice to have i would take 145 views on one of these videos over four thousand views on one of those any day of the week any day of the week i think so after watching uh, episode one back, um, I th there's a few things I could definitely do better, like um, eye contact with the camera, for instance. I do still find it very surprising how much more difficult it is to just talk to a camera in a room on your own than it is to talk to people on stream or talk to people in real life, because, um, well, those people who know me, I have no problem talking. Absolutely not, but I was thinking back to when I first started talking to talking like to my camera on my phone on Instagram. So when I first started streaming, I started doing Instagram stories saying, Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going live. Uh, blah, blah. And I remember how many takes the first one took me. I was stood in my conservatory and I was just like, Hey guys, how's it going? No, that's crap, in it. And then just, it took me like 10 takes and it's, uh, it's really funny. I think I'm getting it now. And like, a lot of people have said, like, oh, the, the eye contact with the camera is important, but I watch, like, other vloggers and, and, uh, get this closer, and, um, podcasters and stuff, and a lot of them spend a lot of time, like, looking over here and chatting and looking over there and chatting, a lot, not, not many of them just, you know, stare down the camera into your souls. I think, uh, I think we're doing well. I think we're doing well. But yeah, since the last video, we, uh, uh, last vlog. I made uh, one video, I put one video up, skill-based matchmaking video. Nothing new there, guys. Me moaning about the skill-based matchmaking in Warzone and why it doesn't work. I've just been trying to focus on getting all the little bits that make the channel look a bit better. Things like that. You know, I've got myself a subscribe animation. i uh, got myself a little bell animation for the videos. You know, all these things that I see other channels have. And I need that. Like, the channel look more professional, you know, moving forward. Um, but yeah, I've added, I've added those in this week. And um, yeah, we've had some busy streams. Some very busy streams this week. I'm pushing 20 viewers in most streams, guys, so I just want to thank you all for that. Been awesome. I think it was yesterday uh, we did a stream, the morning stream, which was like four and a half hours long. There was like 62 hours of watch time in total on it. So I had like more than 12 people in it the entire time. It was awesome, guys. Thank you very much. It's uh, been really good. Really enjoying the streams lately. They've been a real laugh as well. I've been working a lot on my editing in regards to like thumbnails and things, you know, like adding back glows to certain parts. And uh, you'll see in the thumbnails for these vlogs, the little glow that's behind the picture of me makes it look a bit, a bit more professional and it pops. And uh, I've, been looking at, I've been looking at buying some software actually for that because at the moment I'm using Pixlr, which is a free software. Well, it's not sponsored by Pixel or anything, guys, seriously. But um, if you're just starting out, you should definitely check out Pixel.com. It's a really awesome free web browser-based uh, photo editing tool. There's so many things you can do on there if you know how, and it's really good. I would definitely check that out if you're struggling to make thumbnails because my thumbnails have come a long way since I started using it and since I started watching videos on how to use it. Like I remember like one of my first thumbnails. I was pretty proud of it, and now I look back on it, and I'm like... That was terrible, like, not great, but I've left it up. I haven't, like, updated the thumbnail in the video, because, like I said, I think that's part of the part of the ride, being able to look back on your uh, not-so-great work at the beginning and, like, compare it with what you're doing now. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that, that's definitely been, been fun, learning how to edit thumbnails and things like that. So this week I put the feelers out. <clears throat> And I asked everybody if they'd like to do a Q&A section in this vlog this week. And everyone's like, yeah, it's a great idea. 
uh big cheese you're awesome stuff like that so um i uh, asked everyone to dm me any questions they thought might be good to talk about any questions they were curious about streaming things like that and i got a load of them and i managed to narrow it down to five questions i think it's five i've got here yeah five so we're gonna go through those now first question is from ben mack shout out to ben your bloody legend he says what's one thing you'd do differently if you could start again um i'm not really that far into it right, to be honest with you um but like there's definitely a bunch of stuff i did wrong when i first started like we said and like we talked about in the last vlog i got sucked into the follow for follow mentality for a bit and stuff like that but most of the mistakes i made i feel like they, they had to be made to learn to learn how to do things like like we talked about last week again um sometimes you've got to put a video up to watch it back and be like oh i can do that better next time. do that better next time but i think definitely one thing i would do differently if i was to start off again is i would learn how to edit thumbnails and videos a little bit better before i started pushing content out there i do look back on my content and think oh that would be much better now if i knew with with this with the with the knowledge i've gained since i started watching tutorials on youtube and things so i think definitely i think we'll go with that as my answer definitely i would have prepared myself better to edit thumbnails and videos before i started putting out content but again it is nice to look back and see how much you've improved so but yeah that, that that'll, that'll definitely be my answer for that one next question is from nath aka welsh devils shout out to welsh devils your bloody legend uh what keeps you motivated on days when you don't feel like streaming um i don't really <clears throat> since i got since i put a schedule in place i don't really wake up and think oh, i don't fancy streaming today back when i first started and we're going to touch on the ant uh, we're going to touch on ben's question as well in here i was just streaming as much as possible i was streaming every day i could whenever i had spare time i was streaming and it got to the point where i was like okay i'm tired i'm streaming a lot i'm streaming every morning at 7 a.m getting out of hand but since i started putting out a schedule and putting in the discord okay guys this is gonna be the schedule for next week the days off really help and it helped me keep me motivated so that by the time the tuesday comes around after i've had saturday sunday monday off or by the time the friday night stream comes around i'm buzzing to do that now i do get days where i kind of had one today this afternoon i sat down to record this vlog and it's 9 p.m now i sat down this afternoon to record this but it just wasn't there i sat down and i was <laughs> tired and I haven't got it in me to do this now. I could do it, but it's not going to be as good as if I go have a beer, have a nap, have some food, and do it tonight. And those are those are the exact things I did. I went and had a beer, and I had a nap, and uh, I had some food, and now I'm back now tonight, and I feel much better. It, it, the video's going to be better now <laughs> um, than it would have been if I forced myself through it this afternoon. So I would say that um, the motivation is there always. It's just about managing the time. Um, but the main, I would say the main motivation is it's, it's the dream. It's the dream, man. Um, I want to make YouTube videos uh, as, a, as, a, as a career. I want to uh, have that work-life balance, you know, uh, work around my own schedule, work for myself, things like that. It's just... Yeah, I guess, I guess, really, the the the, uh, the, <laughs> the answer is as simple as that. It's the dream. Becoming a YouTuber, that's what keeps me motivated every single day. Every day I've got to get up at 7, start streaming at 8. Every time I've got to get a video out there and, or I have an idea, just go for it because, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely what keeps the motivation up. Okay, so question number three is from Matt O'Brien. What's up, Matt? How's it going, brother? Um, what's your biggest challenge so far and your biggest triumph? And these two go hand in hand, really. <coughs> the biggest challenge I've faced so far is keeping people coming back to the streams. If, if, if every single regular, and by regular I mean 
I've had people who come back to the stream every day for like months at a time and then sort of phase off and then I sort of never see them again. I've had people who've been there since day one and they're still there. But the biggest challenge is trying to keep hold of everybody and it's impossible. It's impossible because because people are always going to got things going on in their personal life. They, circumstances change. They haven't got time to watch. They lose interest. They All these things. But the biggest challenge is keeping that. If, if, if I keep... I'm quite good with names in the stream, and if I if I'd have kept hold of like everybody who was a regular on Mixer, and they come over, my streams would be like fifty to a hundred people every day now. Like if I kept hold of everybody, and now, even now, like the regulars are coming in and out of the stream. I've got about fifty, sixty regulars are coming in and out of the stream, but they come in at different times in the day and different times in the stream. If all those regulars came in at the same time, the streams would be twice as three times as busy. But also then that ties into the biggest triumph so far and it's the community I've got now of people who do tune in every single day or when you know every single stream they can. Most people, a lot of them every single day and um, even enjoy the content to the point where they've subscribed on Patreon. And you do get bonuses for, for subscribing on Patreon but they've, they, they find your... They find my content, my videos, my streams worthy of their hard-earned money, you know? And I think that's the biggest triumph. So the biggest challenge, I think, is keeping hold of people, keeping them interested, keeping them coming back. And then my biggest triumph is that I have kept this this group of people coming back, and it's awesome. And there's there's no feeling like it. You go live in the morning, hit the start starting soon screen, come back and it says 15 people waiting for you to go live or waiting for you. And it's just amazing. So yeah, that'll be my answer for that one, mate. Good question. Good question. Okay, we got one here from ChuckB1988. Why are you so effing cool? Okay, we got one from Antics. It says, um, if you had to pick three squad mates to drop into the war zone with, who would it be? Um, there's so many people we game with it's hard to make a choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my favorite squad mate to drop in with. And it's got to be Big Tony Rockets, my brother. It's got to be. He's just... He's just always there. He's always got your back. And everyone who's played with him will agree. He's straight on the res. As soon as you go down, his, his first thought is getting that res. No matter how much danger and how much fire, fire he's under. And uh, it's also, there's also no, not many better feelings than seeing one of his rockets sail sail out in front of you and just take out a bunch of <clears throat> enemies in a vehicle so that's my answer for that one i'm not going to go into picking three out of all the boys you play with because i don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and i don't want to go to bed tonight with a bunch of texts saying can't believe you didn't pick me and all this stuff so i'm just gonna kind of dodge that one there and final question is i uh, actually hasn't got a name on it why hasn't it got a name that's annoying do you find it weird watching yourself back in your videos and like like, you see, like, people say they find it weird watching themselves. They find it a bit cringe. Sometimes, I guess. But, um, I watch myself back, not just because I love the sound of my own voice, but I watch myself back to pick holes in what I've done. And, like, we talked about it last week, taking a step back and, and, like, um, looking at you, what you've just made or what you've just put out there and going, oh, it's not good enough. I can do better next time. And that's that's the reason I watch myself back. So I don't really focus on how cringe it is. Like, if I think something's cringe, I guess I'll ask my girlfriend because she will be super honest with me. She'll be like, babe, don't put that up. It's it's cringe. You, you don't. I'm like, okay, I, 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 won't, I, won't, I won't put that up. But, um, yeah, I don't really find it weird watching myself back because I guess I'm more concentrated on what I've picking apart what I've done right and wrong. But no, no, I don't really, don't really find it weird. So yeah, all, uh, all good questions there, guys. Really enjoyed that, actually. We'll probably do that more often. A uh, little Q&A, little Q&A for you. If I didn't put your question in this week, I'll do it the next time. I promise. It's just those were my, my favorite ones and I uh, thought they would be the best ones to talk about this week, following on from what we discussed last week and things like that, starting out and, and things like that. So, um, 
I guess we'll get into the final thought now to finish off the uh, the vlog. Big Cheese's final thought coming right at you. Um, I've got a good one. I've got a good one. Um, so we talked about making thumbnails and stuff today. One thing I've learned recently, and I wish I knew it from the start, is don't just open up your editing tool, Photoshop, Pixlr, whatever, and start with a blank canvas and go, right, I'm going to make a thumbnail today. Look online for ideas. Look at other YouTubers' thumbnails for inspiration because it really does help. And what you'll find is, especially if you, if you, if you, if you think you're, you are quite creative and there are ideas in there, looking at other people's work for inspiration will unlock those ideas and bring them into a, a better light for you to put onto, onto your own work. So I would definitely don't just sit there with a blank screen and be like, I want to make a thumbnail because you will struggle. I have, I have struggled doing that myself. Go online, look at the positioning of the text in other YouTubers, bigger YouTubers, because it's working for them. And that's the goal at the end of the day to get where they are. So just take inspiration off those guys and then put it into your own version of that, I guess. Didn't really word that very well, but you, you know what I mean. Get inspiration from other people. There's no, nothing wrong with looking at other people's work and maybe pinching an idea here or there and making your own, making your own version of that. So yeah, guys, I think we'll call that the end of uh, episode two of trying to become a YouTuber, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy making these and uh, I can't wait to make the next one, to be honest with you. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comments, guys. Uh, the more comments, the better. Feedback on the video, questions maybe for the next Q&A. Chuck it all in the comments, guys, because it really helps the, uh, the video get out there and people come over to the channel. If you are new to the channel, hit the sub button, hit that like and hit that bell to get notifications of live videos. And I'll see you next time.